Shalom, sisters. What was your name again? Huh? Khadijah, and you are Cian. Okay, well, what we are here teaching is that the Bayesians, that's what y'all call yourself, right? Bayesians, Barbados. I'm from the States. Uh, we are here teaching that you're not a bearded fig tree at all. Bayesians, have you ever read the Bible before? A little bit. Have you ever read the word Bayesians or Barbadians in the Bible before? So if you ever looked at the Bible and you were trying to find yourself and you didn't see Bayesians or Barbados, the thought would come to your mind, well, this ain't really talking about me. It's talking about some other people, but I'm going to fit myself in there somewhere. But we come out here to teach you that the so-called Barbadians are actually the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Because when you read the Bible, it talks about Israel a whole lot. That's God's chosen people. So I'm going to go over some curses right now to show you that Bayesians are actually in the Bible, but God don't call them that. He call them something different. Give me Deuteronomy 28, and let's read verse 15. Bring Pay up. attention. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is telling the people, if you do not listen to what I'm telling you, this is going to happen in the future. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. All his what? All his commandments. God said he wanted his people to keep his commandments, not religion. Because here in Barbados, it's a lot of uh, Anglicans, it's Catholicism, it's Pentecostals, it's Baptists, all those different religions. But God never mentioned religion in the Bible. He only gave laws to a people. So he said, keep my commandments. Read on. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Now here's a question for you, Khadijah. If somebody came up on you and said, oh, I curse you, would you be like, oh, thank you? So curses are what? Curses are bad things, evil things. So God said, if you don't listen to what I'm saying, I'm going to put you under curses. I'm going to make bad things happen to you. Now, if you ever went to grade school here in Barbados, you know a little bit of history of how Barbadians, you know, got here, right? How did they get here? How did they get here? Cause, cause you said something about Africa, right? How did they get here from the West Coast of Africa? History lesson for you. You might know, cause you're still in school. You are. How did Bayesians get here from Africa? Come across on a boat, right? I'm gonna show you. That's in the Bible. not calling you babies. Read that Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 16. Now, oh, before I read this, remember, God said, if you don't keep my commandments or listen to me, what's going to happen to you? You said, curse. With another way, curse is evil things, bad things, right? Read Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again. So he said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Now, when you think of Egypt, what do you think of? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? A country, right? In Africa. Something right here. So you say, Egypt, you're going to send me that again? What was, what was God's people doing in Egypt when they had to be, when Moses had to go say, let my people go? What was they doing in Egypt? You don't know? Okay, go to uh, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. We're going to stay in the book of Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you. That's why we out here, to help our people piece together the mystery of who they are. Because uh, we walk around in dark, we really don't know from day to day. Because if I ask you, what does Barbadian mean or Bayesian mean? It means a bearded fig tree. Are you a bearded fig tree? No, so you can't be Bayesian. So let's read what Egypt means, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. There goes that word Egypt again, Khadijah. Read. Out of the house of bondage. I called Egypt the house of what? The house of bondage. What's another word for bondage, Khadijah? What do you think? walking around right now, right now walking around, and they had you in bondage, you would really be in what to the British? 
slavery. Deuteronomy 5 and 6 again. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of Egypt. And let's see what God says Egypt means. From the house of bondage. The house of what? Slavery. Like you said, right? That's right. Back to Deuteronomy 28, 6. Because Khadija knows a little history. She said, I asked her, how did the Bajans get from Africa to here? And you said what? On a boat, right? A ship. Let's see if that's in the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt means what to God? What did he say it means? Bondage. So if I was in Egypt the first time and I was in bondage and God said, I'm going to send you back to Egypt again if you don't listen, your first thought was he's going to send me back to where? You said slavery. Was the babies in slavery before here in Barbados? God said, I'm going to send you back into slavery. Read. Again. A second time. How? With ships. Oh, Khadijah. Oh, Khadijah, you just told me that the Bajans got from Africa. How? Oh. Now, now, now I want you to connect the dots because we're not a dumb people. We are very smart. We know we could we know some words when we try to say something, but we'll say something different, but we really mean that. So God said, I'm gonna send you into slavery again. How? With ships. That's how the Bajans got to here. But did, have we read anything about Bajans yet in the Bible? We never read that word in the Bible. We never read Barbados in the Bible. Barbados, Barbados means bearded fig tree. Walk around and say, hey, I'm going to name myself after a fig tree. Did we do that as a people? No, we didn't. It was the people that conquered us and brought us from the west coast of Africa and dropped us off here. They said, these people are bearded fig trees. And tell them, don't read the Old Testament, just read the New Testament. Because if they ever read the Old Testament, they might understand God's calling them something else. God is actually telling you, you are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. You are the Israelites. And you come from the tribe of Benjamin. That's this right. This area is known as the West Indies, the Caribbeans, right? God said those people in that area that went on slavery and ships, they are Benjamin in the Bible. That's their God-given name, not bearded fig tree. Read on in that. on ships. Have you ever read that? Have you ever Googled that before? No, not at all. God said exactly how I said it's going to happen is how it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You won't ever go back to your homeland. Read. And there, and there, once you got off the ship, ye shall be sold. Hold on. Companies, what happened to us when we got off those ships, man? They bought us. They sold us out because I was down. I don't know what the area was, but it's a Lord Nelson statue. Where's that place called? Where's it at? Okay, it's an independent square. It's a Lord Nelson statue, and right behind it got a flower, and then it's talking about something where they had a jail for rebellious slaves. And it was an auction block. And it was an auction block right there. Read that again, and you're going to be what? I, I'm not, thou shalt see it no more again, and then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. God's telling you, when you got off the ship, wherever it might have been, because my, my ancestor ship, it landed in America. According to the Bible, I'm, a, so, I'm, a, I'm from the tribe of Judah. But they call me an American black. 
Now, what color are my pants, sisters? Khadija, what color is my pants? Have you ever seen any Beijians walk around the color of my pants? So why are they calling us black? You know what they're doing? They're calling you every name under the sun except your God-given name. That's right. If you knew who you truly was, you would act different. You would do things different. Here's a question I got for you. Because we asked this yesterday, because I'm, I'm from Miami. If Beijians are from Africa, because they say I'm African, what African traditions do Beijians keep? Is that an African tradition? Like they were doing that back here on the west coast of Africa? Okay, so what traditions do Beijians keep now, generally? Oh, who's are they? What are they? Names up. I know one y'all keep. Y'all keep Christmas? Oh, she busts out laughing. Okay. We all know there's not an African tradition. Okay. So that's a what tradition? Yes. That's a European tradition. Y'all keep Easter? Oh, y'all keep Easter too. That's a European tradition. So, so, uh, so what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is that we've been lied to since we got off the ship. We are the, read Deuteronomy 29 and verse 1. I'm going to show you who God's talking to about that got off ships. Let's see what God calls them. Listen up, Khadijah. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. Moses is speaking to who? Israel. He said, Israel, the children of Israel, if you don't listen to me, you're going to go into slavery a second time on what? Ships. But he didn't say Bajans, did he? He called them what? He called, he called them Israelites. Now, I'm not a rocket scientist. I don't know how to fly a plane. I don't know how to work on a plane, but I know one plus one equals two. Now, if that matches my history, and I know that everything that I've learned has been a lie, then that means God is calling me a what in the Bible? A Israelite. That's right. That's, right. That's what he's calling you. Because Barbados, like I said, it means bearded fig tree, right? You are not a bearded fig tree. You're not black. Africa is a whole continent. Where you come from in Africa? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just African. That's a whole continent. What happened is we broke God's commandments. He said, I'm going to send you into slavery. You're going to serve your enemies until you repent. And that's what we have not done. Let's get another one. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and let's read verse 38. Here's another one, because that's one. That's We went on slavery on ships. Okay, read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. It's God that sent those white men against us, the British. We like to think that uh, that they just woke up one day with a bright idea like, hey, let's go get these uh, dark-skinned people on the west coast of Africa to work in the sugar cane fields because the sun's hot out here and we can't do it. That ain't what happened. Read it from the top again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. God is real, and God is angry at us as a people. What we like to think is this is a match, this is a fairy tale book, and it and, and it's good to read to make me feel good. But when you actually read it and know your history, well that happened to us. God is real. He's angry with us. We're not doing something right. We need to find out what we can do right to get right with God. So he said, You're gonna serve your enemies, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. When we got off those slave ships and were sold, because we just read that, right? That's our history. Did we have to work in the in the sugar uh, cane fields to get food from the master? Yeah. Yeah, you had to do that. Because if you didn't put sugar cane, they wouldn't give you nothing to eat. They'd let you starve out or take you out back and hang you. Or better yet, ship you off to Haiti or Jamaica. 
they shipped you off. You know their history. They rebelled your slaves. They sent you to Haiti and your faithful. So read that. You shall serve your enemies for what? In hunger. For food. You had to work in the field for food. Read. And in thirst. If you wanted something to drink, you had to pick the sugar cane. And in nakedness. If you wanted some ragtag clothes from your master, you had to work in the sugar cane field. That's the same thing that happened to us. Read. And in want of all things. If you wanted anything, you had to serve your enemies. Read. And he uh -huh. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now, God gets very, even more specific. He said, and that same enemy you serve for food, water, and hunger, he's going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What's another word for iron that's on your neck? A chain. Read that part again. And he shall put a yoke of iron, a chain, upon thy neck. Ain't that how they carried us off the stage? They put chains on our necks. What's up? That was fighting for independence the slave rebellion? What he got on his hands? He got chains. What you think he had on his neck? A chain. Right? Read on. Until ye have destroyed thee. All right, get a flyer, Khadija. Get a flyer. Until what? Until ye have destroyed thee. Until you start accepting that you was Barbadian. That's right. Until you accepted you was Bayesian. Until you accepted that you was under the queen's rule. Take the chains off their neck. They very docile here. They ain't gonna rise up and do nothing because we don't sent off all the other rebellious slaves to Jamaica. They docile. They comfortable with the way they are. They comfortable with having their independence Revelry. in 1966. But how, how is Barbados independent when the hospital is still named what? Queen Elizabeth. What's the police called down here? What they call monarchy something, right? Royal. All the stuff is still named after the queen, but you think you're free. That's right. Destroy it. God says you destroy it. Now the reason he did that, he said that why do you think God will do that to a people? Because we love, we, we like to say a lot of times, God is love. God is love. God is love. God loves everybody. God is love. God is love. Well, why did he send us That's right. into slavery? On ships. That's the question I have. Why did he send? God is love. God is love. God is love. Why did he send us into slavery on ships? What do you think? Why would you think God, who loves everybody, send us particular people? Nobody else. Because we were disobedient and rebellious to what? To his laws. To his laws. That's right. That's right. You're exactly right, sister. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring so, up. so I'm going to give you a law that you might not have known about, that our people are sometimes consciously and sometimes unconsciously rebellious against, disobedience against God. Read that, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So I'm going to start with the bottom half. What is a woman's garment that if a man walked around here and wore, you would say he's crazy. Something wrong with it. What would it be? A dress, right? So you understand the bottom part. Now read the top part. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God says a woman shall not wear that which belongs to a man. Now I see you chuckle when I say that. So what is God talking about? A woman should not be wearing. Huh? Pants. That's right. God says my daughters are not supposed to be wearing what I gave to the man. And that's one law that our people have been rebellious against. And, and what did God do because we were rebellious and ready to sit this word? On what? On ships. On ships? So in order to get up, up out from under the curse and God being mad at us, what do we as Benjamites, Benjamin, start being obedient? Start being obedient. So when you just learn that one simple law, what would you need to out going forward knowing that I'm not Bayesian God calls me Israel in the Bible I see my history 
in the re I know myself without even reading the Bible that the reason why we punish is because we are disobedient. So you yourself, because you can't save everybody. So you yourself, to save yourself and to be a light to these young women out here, which you should be, they should look up to you for guidance. What would you need to do according to God to get on his good side? And, and the law we just read, a woman shouldn't wear what? Right, so you should be putting on a what? Dress. That's right. That's right. You know why? Because you, the word Israel, it means a prince of God. So if you're a sister, you are a princess of God. Now, I know this is I know was conquered by the British, right? So have you ever seen the Queen of England, who's not God's people, has she ever wore pants before? You ever seen a picture of her? Yes, I never saw her. Never saw it, right? She ain't even a queen of uh, a princess. That's right. God, That's right. Right. Dress, right. But the actual princesses of God don't dress how they're supposed to. That's right. We That's have to right. Stop, stop being rebellious. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.